Welcome to another JJ in the Field. Timely agronomic tips when you need them most. I'm Jonah Johnson. Today we're here in beautiful Miami County and we're looking at, if you can see behind me, a, a wheat field. And so this is one of the more advanced wheat fields. Obviously the further south uh, in my travels, wheat's a little bit more fully progressed. Um, but here in more centralized Ohio, if you will, um, we're roughly at Feeks Growth Stage 8. You know, we get up into the northern latitudes of Ohio. Uh, wheat is a little bit behind and maybe not at Feeks Growth Stage 6 or that jointing stage where the growing point's above ground. But our topic for today is the concern if you've been watching the weather and all the alerts probably on your phones and the local weather weather people saying that we're under a freeze warning and some poor weather coming through uh, the Ohio Valley starting tonight. And so with this weather fronts coming through, we do have some sensitive plants out there. So across Ohio, regards to playing progress, a lot of guys have kind of put hit the brakes and are waiting for this front to pass through, um, unfortunately. But fortunately, on the same token, a lot of crops got planted across Ohio. I, I know of a lot of soybeans planted in northern Ohio, and they've actually emerged. And so those being young tender plants, they're all subject to potential injury from this cold snap we're supposed to get. So the big wild card is, is how cold will it get for how long and, and what type of damage can we expect? So across Ohio, obviously the, the ranges that I personally heard range anywhere from you know the upper 20s down to the lower 20s. And so a killing freeze, you know, that's colder than a frost, is two, classified as 28 degrees for two hours. And anything longer than that, obviously, uh, we can expect more damage. Now, where a lot of these weather sensors and stations report is typically at a weather station, it's typically about six foot up in the air. So how does that interpret down here on the ground where these growing points in wheat, for example, may be? How cold will it get at that soil surface? If we have a warm soil temperature, that can help buffer and give some uh, warming from the from the earth and hopefully protect these plants but like in our wheat plants here across behind me we have some pretty advanced wheat and as further that growing point gets up in the plant it has potential to be damaged now a year ago when we talked about wheat you know we were into that May time frame when we had a hard freeze and we had emerged heads and so that's obviously as those wheat plants get older and older the the sensitivity to cold um, becomes greater and greater as those plants get older and older so for us here, uh, where we're at today, standing, this grower um, is a progressive grower. He intercedes soybeans into 15-inch row wheat, and he does very well with his double crop soybeans and his wheat crop. And so this wheat right now is roughly about Feeks growth stage eight. And so the second node is, it, it may be an advanced seven, depending on where we're at in the field. That second node is not super visual everywhere, but the first node in these plants is uh, pretty visual. And so at that growth stage is where we can start finding that, that growing point or that wheat head. And so what you want to do to, to stage your wheat, depending on where you're at in Ohio, is that you'll take these plants, and we pulled some out of the ground. And you can see here it was about the soil surface. And you want to go down and find you a plant that's pretty advanced like this one here and we can pull off all the leaves around it and you want to pull it up longitudinally along that stem and look for that swollen spot the first node is right here at my two fingers and that growing point or that wheat head will be right above that and so when we cut these plants longitudinally with our box knife you just want to take your knife insert and just cut along a right up through that plant and what you'll see is is that wheat head and that's our, our our tender point on that plant and that's that grow active growing point and so right now is that most sensitive point and that's what we'll have to check next week because essentially we get into this pattern of we hurry up and wait uh, to, to monitor that so if we do experience these colds We'll have to come back in the next week and check that growing point again and where you're at. Now, if you're further in Ohio, northern Ohio, where the growing points at the service are below, you're more protected. And granted, they're calling for more snow in those regions, so that will be more of an insulating layer. But for us here in central and the further south we go, we have more advanced wheat. The, 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 the potential injury is at a higher level there. So not just looking at our wheat right now, also thinking about our other crops, corn, um, you know, some of the corn is just protruding the ground right now, emerging. That corn I'm not worried about at all. For the soybeans, you know, those plants are going to be much more sensitive because that gr active growing point, that meristematic growing point is at that neck in those cotyledons if you have plants out that, that mature right now. And so, again, we'll have to hurry up and wait and see how those plants uh, respond to that next week. Other issues you may have right now, you know, 
even though we're cool and we're windy and it's, it's um, not allowed for a lot of uh, burned down herbicide applications, is that these winter annuals and cover crops, they're still growing. And so, you know, with these cold temperatures, I would caution you to consider the weather when you're making these herbicide applications because a lot of the growth regulators and the systemic herbicides like a 2,4-D dicamba are, are uh, growth regulators. And then like glyphosate, for example, they don't work as well when the plants are not actively respiring right now when they get these cold snaps. So you're going to see um, herbicide programs are not going to be as responsive to these weeds uh, or the weeds not responding as quickly as we'd like to see. So if you've already made applications, you may have to go back and make another application, unfortunately. And if you have not yet, I would encourage you to try to hit the brakes on that and wait till we get to the next week when it's supposed to warm back up because we'll see much quicker responses to these herbicide applications. Don't cut out on adjuvants. They're going to be more important this year. If you have adjuvants that include a taloamine based adjuvants that used to be in some of the name branded glyphosate products, those are really efficacious of helping um, the growth regulators and systemic herbicides get into the plant more actively even when it's cold. So look those up with your uh, local seller and those do work to help in these challenging time conditions. So in summary, um, we're kind of in a wait pattern, but just things to look out for is if you're starting next week, we'll, we'll check some fields and report back. But we're going to have to wait to see how bad the temperatures get, where that's at, how far along is your crop right now, and we can help gauge that as well. Um, but we can't really tell until after this, we get through this week and we get into next week. So with that, this is Jonah Johnson for another JJ in the Field. Thanks for watching.